everyone, we are heading into the Christmas season and I'm going to start off with making, um, it's kind of a snowflake ornament and we're going to use golf tees. They're inexpensive wooden golf tees and they come in a big bag. You can get them at like a Walmart or something like that. And all we're going to do, all I've taken is, I've taken a bunch of them and let me zoom in here. And... I have taken them and I've lined them up just with the tips together and they're just laying here flat and then you come out with a design like this. And the plan is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is, let me respace them a little bit again, all I'm going to do is put some hot glue right in the center. Alright, when you have them spaced um, as you want them, then that's when you're going to take your hot glue and I've had mine heating for a while and I'm just going to put a bunch right in right in the center and let it seep through all the areas. Now I'm working on parchment paper because hot glue will will come off of parchment paper. So I'm going to leave this to cool and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put another um, dollop of the hot glue on the other side. Okay the hot glue has cooled and I have um, it's on both sides and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I can either spray paint it or just hand paint it with acrylic paint. Um, I'm going to do a little spray paint on it, just plain white, because I'm going for kind of a, a snowflake look, I think. Or I could do like a gold star or something like that. That would be pretty nice also. And, and then I'll come back and show you. And we can also, if you do just acrylic paint, which absolutely you can, the glue probably will take, the whole thing probably will take two coats. Um, spray paint is quicker, acrylic paint is fine. And then we'll be back and we'll finish it up. Okay, we are back and the, the golf tee ornament has been painted. I spray painted it and I thought it was a gold, but it turns out it was um, more of a copper, but no matter. And it looks, I think it looks nice just as it is. If you wanted to make a bunch of them, just, you know, spray paint them a metallic color. That would look very nice, too. Um, but we're going to take it one step further. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to want to hang it, is I'm going to take a piece of fishing line, which I don't think you can really see very well, and a little bit of hot glue. All right, I'm going to pick one of these to just put a little bit of hot glue on here. And then I'm going to, and I have it looped already, and I'm going to stick both of those ends together into the hot glue. Because fishing line for me is very difficult to, to tie. So get it in there. Use something to squish it in because it'll be hot. There. And now it's attached, and it's it's a very lightweight ornament, so that doesn't matter. So you can stop here if you want, or like we're going to do, we're going to glitter it. And I'm going to go with just a gold glitter. Okay, and I'm working in a tray just to keep it a little bit neater. And you could work with um, a Mod Podge or or just a regular white glue. I'm just doing the regular white glue. It's a little bit thicker, so. Um, I kind of like it for this maybe just a little bit better. Take it on your brush. And I'll start on the back side and kind of goop it on there. You don't necessarily want it drippy, but you do want it to cover everything. And if you end up having any bare spots, then you just go over it with another, you know, when it dries, throw a little glue on it and do it again. And it should be just fine. So, I always miss a spot here and there. And then you just cover it up. So keep doing that until you get it all covered. Okay, so you get it all covered and you take your um, glitter and what I do is just pour it in here and the reason I'm working in the tray is to keep
keep it cleaner, but also it collects all the excess glitter and I can put it back into the container after. Okay, and then I want to get the ends. Oops. But that way we don't waste we don't waste the glitter. And I would leave this to dry. And I I'm leaving it dry, laying in in the glitter. You don't have to do that. You could really, if you wanted to, get rid of the glitter in the tray and um, paint the other side and do the glitter right away. You could easily do that. Um, I want it just to dry a little bit further so that so that the glitter, any glitter will stick to it and it won't really have that much of a flat spot on there. Or you could have it drying with the other side up. Either way. So, and there are a couple bare spots that I can see already. Um, I don't know if you can see them. But this is this is the start of it. We'll come back to the other side. We are back with the golf tee glitter ornament and I think it looks great. It's nice and shiny and sparkly for the holidays which is always a plus and you could <clears throat> you could do like a spray lacquer on it if you wanted but the glitter should stay in place just fine with the white glue. Um, some initial stuff might fall off um, but then that's it. So I think you ought to give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Happy crafting!